Welcome to this ChemChem Pro video on how to specify our chemistry set for our simulation. Now that we've set up our reactor model and specified which reactor we want to use for the simulation, we now need to specify the settings for the reactor. The first step is the pre-processing step, where we specify the chemistry set we would like to use. First thing we need to do is to find the working directory. Here I've specified my default ChemCan working directory. We could also browse to a chemistry set we've already created. We have some included with ChemCan Pro under the system data shortcut. But in this case, let's create our new chemistry set. Depending on the reactor model you've chosen, this will determine whether we need to specify the gas phase kinetics file, surface kinetics file, thermodynamics data file, and gas transport data file. For zero dimensional reactor models, we only need to specify the gas phase kinetics and the thermodynamics data file are the only required inputs. If we're interested in surface chemistry, we would specify the surface kinetics file. And if we're modeling one of the one dimensional reactors, we would specify the transport data file. Let's browse to one of the gas phase chemistry input files included with ChemCan Pro. Let's choose GRI MEC 3.0. This is our gas phase kinetics input file. If we click the pencil here, this will open up the mechanism where we can see all of the elements, species, possibly the thermodata, and the reactions in this mechanism. This would be our Arrhenius coefficients the pre-exponential factor, temperature exponent, and the activation energy. Now let's select our thermodynamics data file. We have our GRIMEC 3.0 thermo file. I'll select that. And let's just give this chemistry set a name. So let's just call it GRIMEC 3.0. We'll save our chemistry file as a CKS file. Next step is to run the preprocessor. This will check for any errors in the input. We didn't get any pop-up dialogs, so we did not have any errors, but we can always check the gas phase kinetics output. This will show us all of the species that were read in, along with their data, as well as all of the reactions with their Arrhenius coefficients. And at the bottom, we should see a message that says no errors found on input. So we are now set to complete the setup of our simulation. We could also look at the different data for the species and gas phase reactions under the mechanism viewer. We can look at the forward and reverse rate constants. And we can also see the species and reaction data that we read in. And we could set up a parameter study or uncertainty analysis for our reaction mechanism constants. We could also archive our chemistry set. This could come in handy if you want to archive a chemistry set for later use or share with a colleague in your group. That completes this video on how to set up a chemistry set in ChemCan Pro. For more information, please go to the website www.reactiondesign.com where you can find additional videos on ChemCan Pro and other products.